you're looking at Pistol Pete Maravich, in my opinion, the greatest playmaker playing today. A great passer, great shooter, but a lot of people don't know this. He is wonderful in all these dexterity drills. Now, Pete, when did you start all this? It comes out of a system I started around six or seven years of age, what we call homework basketball, and takes in reaction drills, quickness drills to improve your quickness, your coordination, your confidence, and your overall ability to handle a basketball. Well, actually, don't you get the feeling that when you're doing these things, the ball becomes sort of an extension of your hand? Exactly. That's exactly how I felt uh, when I was growing up. I dribbled so much, so many different ways, uh, learning new types of drills to dribble with one ball, with two balls, and so forth, that uh, I never really had to look at the basketball when I dribbled it, which improved my game from a great standpoint. See, there are a lot of coaches that advocate this, but they don't do it with any application to the game itself. Now, you'd be amazed at some of the things that Pete will demonstrate to you. Pete, how about showing us a few of them? Okay, uh, number one, uh, I did this for quickness. Uh, just to improve my quickness is what I call a ricochet drill. Uh, you stand with your feet apart and you just throw the ball down, back and forth like this. This is really just for coordination purposes. And then once you get into what I call the bullet ricochet, where you try to throw the ball very hard. And catch it behind. That's one. Beautiful. Uh, another one, a very good quickness drill that I haven't really done that much, Coach, except in the summertime. <laughs> but the object is to put the ball behind your knees. The object of this drill is to clap your hands in front and catch the ball before it hits the ground requires a lot of mental concentration and I don't even know if I'll be able to get it but I'll try well he tried pretty good didn't he how about a couple more Pete well I can take two balls and show a sh short drill which is just a short figure eight drill using two basketballs what we call in rhythm and out rhythm, then going around. This really increases your ability to handle a basketball. Now, uh, when you see a loose ball, and that ball is a couple inches from the ground, don't you feel real superior to the next guy knowing that you could start a dribble from that low position? Exactly. Uh, one of the best moves I have, particularly as an individual, is putting the ball out in front of somebody and as they go for it, do what I call a stutter dribble back over like that. Try that again. If, if I'm guarding you. You got your hand there. Yeah. Okay. Good thing. If I'm guarding him, I have a feeling that I might be able to get that ball. But through all this dexterity practice, he knows that he could beat my reaction and go by me. Now, would you advise young players out there to do those things? A kid uh, needs speed, quickness, and ability to have coordination, and through these drills that I do particularly, it really helped my game, and, and I can only wish that everybody would try to do something with the ball, because what it basically does is give you great confidence in your overall ability. When you can do something a little bit different, so forth, it really helps you. So what you've just seen has a definite purpose. Think. When you work at it, keep telling yourself, how can this help my game? So you can work on it hard knowing that this will improve your game.